He knocked my mom out the top of the stairs. I could see him coming down the stairs, just dragging her. And she was kind of lifeless. And that's when I got off the couch, scared to death, jumped on my father, and he beat the shit out of me. We never went to school hardly at all because we were bruised up. He also believed in just us working the family business. So, so going to school really didn't happen for me at all. Not only did I take it back, he also had a learning disability. I'll never forget in third grade, there was this teacher that was extremely rough on me. And at this time in my life, I did not need this. And she believed I needed to be in a special school because of my learning disability. And this is what I was talking about. People are talking about manage your expectations. This teacher managed my expectations. She saw I had a learning disability. She saw I was socially unable to survive in this world. She saw I was messed up. So she managed my expectations. She said, we need to put David Goggins in a special school. I came from hell. And when you come from hell not knowing how to fight, this is what happens to you. What happens to you is you become a fucked up kid that cannot survive in society. I'll never forget one time during a basketball game, there was this coach, Mr. Trout. He knew me when I was a kid in that school when I was in third grade getting set back. Mr. Trout always loved me. This white man loved the shit out of me. I don't know why he did. But he was my JV basketball coach my sophomore year. The visiting team was at our home stadium. It was at the end of the game, and the visiting team started chanting, I was the only black person in the whole daggone stadium. They started chanting, nigger, nigger, nigger. That's all I remember. At that time in my life, that's all I remember. But not 42 years old. I can look back on that time with clear eyes and a clear mind and see what Mr. Trout did for me. He went in that locker room where I was crying and upset and he cried with me. This white man cried with me, but at that time I didn't see that. All I saw was red. I saw hate. This whole town hated me. Everybody's against me. My mind lost it. And for some reason I couldn't sleep on my bed. And to this day, I don't know why the floor felt so comfortable. The first thing you're gonna say to yourself is, why am I here anyway? This isn't for me. The water's too cold. The sun's too hot. I'm getting up too early. Why am I doing this to myself? That's what the normal mind says. I had to start training my mind to think about how the fuck can I get through this? Not giving myself a way out. Never giving myself, creating a wall around all the fucking ways out in my mind. I had to slowly start to build this fucking wall so my mind knew this motherfucker is not going to give himself a way out of here. In my first hell week, I had a huge setback. I was broken. My legs were broken. I had double pneumonia. I got rolled back to day one, week one of Navy SEAL training. I got through that second hell week. During the second hell week, I actually broke my knee. I continued to limp around for a couple weeks. I couldn't make it anymore. Got rolled back to day one, week one. I'll never forget standing there in front of Captain Bowen. He was the CEO in charge of Navy SEAL training at the time. And he had no mercy on anybody. If he believed in managing your expectations, I wouldn't be here today. He challenged me again. I was challenged my whole life, not by the mindset of managing expectations, by exceeding expectations, not by managing them. I'm standing there with crutches. I'm sitting in his office, he looks at me, he goes, Goggins, this is your last time we're gonna put you through Navy SEAL training. This will be your third hell week in one year. We're not gonna put you through a fourth, so this is your last time. I'm sitting there thinking, how am I gonna get through this? I'm, I'm badly jacked up, my legs are broken, my knee is messed up, and he goes, you have a couple of months to get better. A couple of months isn't gonna do it. I won't get healed up in a couple of months. But I realized I'm gonna get through this shit. I'm gonna find a way to get through it because why I put barriers in my mind. So my third hell week, I went in there with pretty much, I would put a black sock on first. I would get duct tape. And I duct tape my ankles all the way up to my calf every single morning. And then I put another black sock over it. And what that did, that prevented me from moving my ankle. 
So I didn't really, I, I wasn't flexing my shin as much. And I started running with just my hip flexors. In this hell week, it was a bad hell week. We had a guy die on Thursday morning of hell week. I went on to become a Navy SEAL. Greatness is not something that you meet once. It's something that you meet thousands of fucking times in your life. And you don't reach it if you're not constantly in constant fucking pursuit of fucking greatness. So if my mind were to say right now, I'm great, I just lost. We're going to grow. We're not going to triple down on our strengths. We're not going to do that crap. We're going to work on our weaknesses so we grow. We need friction to do that. Without friction, there's no growth. Without friction, there's confusion. Confusion is, David Goggins, how did you become who you are today? I put a bunch of fucking friction in my life. And I grew. That's how I did it. You know how you get mentally tough? It's a lifestyle. Instead of hitting that fucking snooze button in the fucking morning and not making your bed and not cleaning your house, you don't hit the snooze button. You get up. You don't want to go run? You go run. You don't want to go swim? You go swim. You don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. You don't want to study? You fucking study. That's how you start to callous your mind. So that became my life. If you say you're going to wake up at 4 o'clock in the fucking morning to go run, wake up at 4 o'clock and it's going to suck. It's not going to be fun. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Embrace the suck. 